Hi, my name is Kyle Pollock, a soccer coach from Wilmington, North Carolina. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to trap and strike the ball after trapping it. For this clip, you will need soccer ball, soccer cleats, and soccer field. So the first one we're going to work on is on the ground first. So he's going to trap it. Good. Keeping the ball nice out in front of him so he's trapping it, having the ball go out in front of him, then striking through it. Go ahead. Good. Keeping the ball out in front of him, having his plant foot in front, then following through in it. Last time. Good. Out in front. Good. Now instead of using his feet to trap it, now he's going to use his thighs this time. Good. It's on the ground. Perfect. So he's bringing it down, letting the ball bounce, and he's striking through it. Good. Very good. One more time. Good. So he's trapping at this thigh, letting the ball drop, and then following through him. This time, say using his thighs, he's going to use his chest this time to bring it down. Good. Very good. Good. So what he's doing is he's arching his back back, letting the ball drop, then a bounce, stepping, then following through. One more time. Good. Very good. Using his hands to bring himself down, letting the ball bounce, then following through. So now let's go back to the beginning now, using his feet. So there you go. Striking it. Very good. So it's always important to make sure after you trap the ball, the ball is out in front of you. If you don't want it too close to you, you might be able to kick yourself and not have it go straight. So when you trap it, you want it out in front of you, so you can attack it, then go through it. Now let's see the thighs one more time. Good. Bringing it down, letting it bounce, stepping, then falling through. Now let's do the chest. Good. Letting it bounce, getting control of it, then falling through. Very good. So those are three basic ways on how to trap it and then strike the ball.